International recording legend Denny Zager of Zager Easy Play Guitars and writer of In the Year 2525, the biggest one-hit wonder in world recording history, selling over 20 million records. We're going to get into uh, some of the technical end today of music. Uh, if you tuned in to hear me play, <laughs> you're not going to hear much. Uh, these are just short little things, but they're very technical and uh, you need to know them. This is more for beginners than it is uh, more advanced people. Um, you hear me talking about uh, verses and bridges, intros, exits. These are just port portions of songs, actually is what they are. It says, what is a verse? What is a bridge? It's kind of like comparing a, a train. Uh, a train, we think of, you know, all kinds of things going down the railroad track. Well, they're basic cars. They've all got wheels, but they're different kinds of cars. There's a flat car, there's a um, box car, uh, there's a caboose and an engine and whatever. They're all part of the train. Okay. Uh, a bridge, a verse, uh, uh, an exit, an intro, or introductory. Uh, the word introduct, I mean, the word intro suggests introductory to the song. It's the first part of the song. Uh, the verse is another portion of the song. We usually many times repeat the verse. We can do three verses. This can be about anything. It can be a country song, a folk song, a classical, well, not so much classical, but, but uh, country songs, they have verses. It's just a portion of the song. Now, again, um, we get kind of bored listening if we just do verse after verse after verse, repetition, repetition. So what we do usually is we'll do an intro, an introductory, in other words, just gets you into the song. Then we go into a verse, and we can do two or three verses until we think it's, if, if these verses are really long, we might only do one verse. Again, this is music theory, but it's just people's idea. Okay, so uh, if it's a real long verse, we might only do one verse before we go into a bridge. And we call this a bridge because it connects to. In other words, uh, between the caboose on the train and the engine, there's different cars in the middle. Okay, so uh, we might have uh, actually, uh, well, from verse to verse, we'll change them a little bit in certain ways, maybe in rhythms even. Um, we'll change them in words to keep the color coming again. As artists, we always let, try to present you something with ex something that's exciting to listen to, and uh, maybe the words are good. Uh, words used to be more important than they are now. The, from time to time, from one year to next, it'll vary like the weather, whatever. But getting back to verse and bridge, We'll start out with the intro or introductory to the song and uh, then we'll go to a verse or maybe two or three verses and then we go to a bridge which is another part of the song again it's still part of the song uh, but then once we get done with the bridge we'll probably go back to a verse again we might do three three verses depends on how long we want the song to be. Uh, after we get done with the introductory, then the verses, then we go to a bridge, and then maybe back to some verses, depending on our choice, again, how long do we want this song. Then when we get through with the first entities, intro, verse, bridge, then we go into the exit to finish it off. Now these are all different entities or parts of the song, but we've got to identify them. Is it a verse? Is it a bridge? Just to find our way 
very basic, really. Uh, but um, uh, as you notice, so when it comes to uh, music theory, we always like to have the color coming all the time. If it starts to get boring, <laughs> In, in the year 2525, <laughs> those were back in the days where you could do it, get by with anything, the Wild West, as they call it. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the words should be interesting, the melody lines should be colorful, but you still keep the color coming from, whether it's verse or bridge or whatever the world it is, you keep the color coming. That's the real secret. It should be as interesting a piece as possible. Length is not really important. It can be a short song or a long song. Uh, you could put anything out there that's exciting. Uh, we would use a wording in there that's exciting to people at that time. Uh, but uh, again, uh, this is like a Van Gogh painting. It could be interesting back a hundred years ago, but if the painting is good, it could sh it could still affect us and and you know be interesting to look at that picture. Uh, different artists have different skills, so use these. Uh, uh, when you hear me talking about a verse or a bridge or an exit, uh, they're really very basic, but it sure they sure have a lot to do with the interesting parts of a song. So verse, bridge, intro, exit. We're arranging the box, top, box cars here or the flat cars, the train cars here. And the train is going past us. So uh, there's a lot of music uh, uh, theory that comes in here and we'll use these terms all along the way. But uh, listen up and uh, listen to this uh, video quite a few times to get this in your head. Uh, you'll hear me play and execute some of these ideas. And when I talk about a verse and a bridge and an et, intro and an exit, whatever, you'll have some kind of a good idea. Uh, that's it for this uh, session. Thanks for listening. We'll see you later. Thanks.